El Dorado County is a very giving county. I'm sure there are people all over the United States and the world who do good things, but we have a little extra of that here. And that's what, that's what it's all about, is that extra part, where you deep, dig deeper and do a little bit more, and that's, that's what Jack believes in. I just feel as contractors, it's our obligation to, to thank the customers that have, have blessed us so much. We've gotten to know him over the years. He's as honest as the day is long. He's got a heart as big as the sky, and it just brings me to tears sometimes when I think. He started this Thanksgiving dinner. We're a client, and he's thanking us for being a client by feeding us a fabulous Thanksgiving dinner and then entertaining us, and then we get to be part of the giving, which fills our hearts because it's for the food bank. Well, having an employer that, that's, that makes that a big priority to give back to the community, um, it gives you a little, it's, uh, it makes you feel good inside knowing that if he's caring this much about all these other people, he must care about the people that are closer to him. I just wanna continue helping them out uh, the most I can and when I can uh, with the thanks and giving events. My relationship with Straight Line Roofing and Jack Borba is simple doesn't revolve around a bunch of politics, doesn't revolve around what am I gonna get for this in publicity or marketing. Jack is simple. I'll give you the money. You promise me that you'll feed the people. I don't know many charities that do something as crucially important as giving food to, to people that really need it. So um, I think we found the right fit. The type of people we're helping, you might be surprised. It's not people you identify like in an urban area, pushing shopping carts or living in doorways. They're your friends, they're your neighbors, they're people you go to school with, they're people you, you go to church with. They're hungry, they don't want anybody to know. I have personally benefited. I um, had lost my job a couple years ago and we were in need and I was able to get at least a week's worth of food, even two weeks worth of food for my girls. It helped out tremendously just knowing that they were there, you know, right down the road to be able to, to feed us. Just knowing that those resources are out there and they can help, you know, they can help you. It's a really empowering thing for a, a mother, a, a father, or anybody that needs those those sort of services. In a rural setting like El Dorado County, it's much different than in an urban or a metropolitan area. So what we did was we partnered and we strategically picked charities in every community throughout El Dorado County. And we're basically a collection and clearinghouse. So we get the food from different sources and the charities come in every week and get their food and in turn feed the community that they represent. I'm just amazed that they can have provide so much food for all the people of the county that they do. So and I think of all the food we use and that we're just one. Last year we had a budget of about $489,000 and we were able to distribute close to $3.7 million worth of food on that budget. Obviously as a business owner it's neat to get something more than what you put into it to have that lever essentially. And what he's doing is actually inspiring others by showing them what he can do. And that's what this is about. It's not only raising money so we could feed people, they inspire others to say, hey, maybe we can do that too.